Kristen. Good afternoon. We're really thankful that uh, all of you could join us today as well as um, joining us on um, our Facebook Live um, page for this afternoon um, to celebrate the graduating class of 2021. Now I have to tell you uh, as a, a youth pastor I've been, I've been here serving this congregation for almost 11 years, and this group has been a wonderful group. And the staff that we have is just impeccable. So we are thankful not only for your kids and not only for our staff, but also you as friends and family as well. So as we start this afternoon off right, we will start with an opening prayer. Let us pray. Dear good and gracious Heavenly Father, you tell us in Micah that you know us, that you know us from the womb, you know us as we grow older. Lord, we ask you to be with us today. We ask you to be with these students. And Lord, we give you thanks for all that you give us. In your name, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So a poem. Goodbye. I'm glad I was your teacher. I've come to love you so. I can't believe the end is here. I hate to see you go. I've watched you learn and grow and change from day to day. I hope that all the things we've done have helped in a small, small way. It's, so it's with happy memories that I send you out the door with great hope and expectation for what next year holds in store. Remember all the fun we had and all the things we did but most of all, remember that each one of you is a very special kid.
So did y'all love that? Did you love that? Miss Liz loved putting it together. It was really fun to see all their pictures. You were a funny baby, but you know, we love you. <laughs> we, we also love your sister too. Look, I see her back there. I'm so excited. So uh, we will uh, move on uh, to the part where we present our graduate with diplomas. I'm gonna ask Ms. Crystal to come up here. Okay, uh, barriers, you guys are first. So if you would like to come and get you a picture, you may. Laura, if you would like, you just can put that back up. It's fine. You have to swap the screens, but it's okay. Okay? Okay, are we ready? All right. Abigail Renee Barrier. Tyler James Black. Hope Elizabeth Charles. Ella Elizabeth Luke. William Benjamin Olivet the Fifth. Clint Ray Pillsbury the second. Abilene is all grace. Story. <laughs> and John Luke Ward. Let's give these graduates a big round of applause. Um, we know that as uh, we wrap this graduation service up, one, we have loved your children. Um, from the time you bring your kids to us, that's the number one thing that we always say, is that we will love your child, and we grow to love your families as well. You are always welcome to come back and visit, to have more children. <laughs> I'm looking at some of y'all. Yeah, oh no, I know, we already, we, are, we already got one coming. I mean, you know. Um, I have to tell you that, um, and I say this every year, um, my grandmother started this preschool 27 years ago, and it was a labor of love for her. She was 
a retired educator. And um, so she decided that what Kannapolis needed was some other preschools than just one. Um, and so I am thankful that uh, this is part of my umbrella of ministry as um, a pastor and a deacon. And I have truly loved your kids. Sometimes Miss Crystal doesn't like me because I come and rile everybody up and then I just come back to my office. But the other day they told me that they had never been to my office and so they wanted to take a field trip to my office. And so I said, you're welcome anytime. So anytime you're by here, stop in and always say hi and hello to us. Last thing, I have to tell you that we would be lost as a preschool without the wonderful and dedication of Crystal Shepherd. I am I am appreciative of her ministry in and around us, the ministry here to this congregation and to this preschool, and really to all the preschool staff, uh, Victoria Honeycutt, who is here. Um, we have uh, Miss Hope and Miss Jennifer. Ms. Shianda, and we are just really thankful for the staff that we have. If you know of any retired teachers or teachers that just want something fun to do in the summertime, see us afterwards. We have good summer opportunities for uh, what we hope will be a larger crowd than we've been able to have. And some of you we look forward to seeing back again in the fall or in summer camp. And I want to tell each and every one of you guys, Look at Miss Liz for a minute. Look at Miss Liz for a minute. I love you. I love you to the moon and back and beyond and beyond and beyond. So with that, let us pray. Dear good and gracious Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for each of these young people who have graduated today. We're lucky that we get to keep them for two more weeks as the school year wraps up. Lord, we give you thanks for each one of these young people. We give you thanks for their families. And we give you thanks for the ministry that we are able to share in this community. Lord, we ask you to be with these young people as they go to kindergarten and elementary school. And we ask you to be with their families. We ask all this, Jesus, in your holy and humble name. Can Miss Liz get an amen? All right. Um, if you would like to take pictures in here, you are more than welcome to do so. Uh, the sanctuary will be open, um, and then we're going to present our graduates. So why don't y'all come up here? We had planned to throw our hats. That didn't work so very well, but it was going to be so cool looking. But it's all right. It's okay. Come up here, buddy. Come up here. Turn around. 